Hey guys, this is Zevin from DMC. Now, for those of you, if you are using WordPress to build your website, and right now you are using a Contact Form 7 plugin to build the Contact Form, and thinking of how to have a radio buttons as the features, as the fill for your users to submit more information to you. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can create and add on a radio button in your Contact Form 7. Let's go into our step-by-step sharing. Um, this is a very basic contact form 7 that you'll be able to see on your website. Okay, the default version whereby you will have only your name, your email, your subject, and also your message. Now for some of you, um, you know, if you're thinking to add a radio button option for your users to submit additional information, how do you do that, right? So this is an example for you, all right? So if you can see on this form, um, currently I'm having the option, the radio button option for them to choose which particular product or workshop they, they are interested in. Yep. So then they can submit the info to me and I'll be able to receive more information. All right. Now, if you're looking at my form right now, the design of my contact form might look a little bit different as compared to yours. Um, the reason behind is that I might be using a different team. Okay, a different WordPress team as compared to yours. So um, the form will be based on the WordPress team, all right? But however, in this video, we will be just going to focus in the function of the contact form, which is the radio buttons right here. All right, so how do we add this radio button? Now, first of all, you need to ensure that you have a contact form 7 plugin installed in your WordPress, all right? So I already have the contact form 7. So once you have already activated your contact form 7 plugins, you'll be able to see the settings right here, right? So right after you click in, um, make sure that you select the form that you would like to edit. So in my case, I've already selected and right now I'm in my form setting, yep. So um, if you can see in the form setting right here, this is the default where you will have only the name, the email, the subject and message, right? It looks pretty much the same like this. Name, email, subject and message. Right now, if I want to add in a radio button, I will need to decide first, where should be the location? of this radio button, okay? So in this case, I'm actually putting it under and below uh, the email settings, all right? So I will just go back to my contact form. So if I want to put below my email, what I will do is that right after the email section, you just need to make a spacing right here. And this is what I like to do, right? A fast one. I will just copy and paste the whole section and I will duplicate that uh, below to the section that I want to display my radio buttons, right? After this, here, I will change the title. This title is going to display on your website, all right? Um, as the fill title, the subject title, right? So right here, my case, I put it as your workshop. Depends on what is your, the, you know, the, the fill that you're, going to put over right there. Okay, what is the content on your fill, right? So my case is about workshop. So I'm going to put the your maybe preferred workshop, all right? And down here, instead of the email, yep, uh, we are going to change it to radio button. You can see from here, there's a lot of settings that you can choose and you can use, right? Um, You will have like telephone number, you will have like calendar, you can have a drop down check box and here you will be also to have a radio button, right? So just click on these settings. Um, this video, we are just going to focus on radio button. So if you want to check on my um, other videos on check box, drop down menu, go ahead. Yeah. So this video, we are just going to focus on radio button. So click here. Concept is actually the same, yeah. So instead of the name here, I'm going to change it to workshop. Now, this name is not going to display on your website, yeah. 
So it's not going to display on your website. It'll be just as a reference of your form setting. So um, you don't need to spend your time to come up with a perfect naming, a perfect title for this. No, okay. It will be just as the um your own reference purpose only. So a short one, a simple one will do, right? So now the main things over right here for you to take notes. If you can see at the short codes right here, right down here currently is showing radio seven to five. However, I just renamed the name of this form and these short codes. And right now, if you observe right, whenever I will do a setting change, the changes of the settings, right, I will click on um, the empty space beside the box. Once I click the these name, it will reflect whatever name that I input right here. All right, so get ready. Yeah? Right now, I'm just going to click and you can see this name, it will reflect exactly the name that I entered right here. Now, let me just change the name for you to observe one more time, okay? So now I change it to Zabin, and if I click, if you can see from here, same thing again one more time, it will just reflect from there, all right? So this is what you need to think of. Whenever you do a changes, you just click and make sure that this is reflecting what you have entered. Seconds, right here, the option. The options will be what are the, um you know, for your radio buttons, what are the things that you want to put right here, yep? So let's say my case, if I want to put e-commerce, then my WordPress, social media, and then Facebook, and then SEO, I will just put, right? So every options, one line, one line each, okay? Now, um, right after you've done this, right, what do you need to do? It's just that you need to just click again on any other places uh, beside. And then you'll be able to see that all these options has been reflected in your code. Okay, so this is the code that we are going to copy right here. Close this and we are going to replace this section. All right, right now your form should be ready. So just go ahead, save changes. And then I'm going to update my page right here. Okay, this is my, my page, right? That's having the form. So you can see, ta-da! I'm having my uh, forms right here, all right? Now, this is only the first step. In order for you to really to have a complete um, radio buttons right there, right now, you just done the first step of displaying the options on your website. However, when the users is going to submit the information right now, you can't receive it yet, okay? Because we are missing step number two. So right here, if you just go under your mail tabs, right, what you will realize is that, hey, why does this you know, workshop that showing in black color? Okay, whenever that you are looking at the color difference right here, um, light gray, it means that every, everything is good. Okay, everything you have done, the setting, everything is all good. Yeah, and the one that is showing in black color, this one, it means that something is wrong. Your setting is wrong. You know, your form setting is wrong. And over right here is very important because regardless what the users have submitted right here, you won't be able to receive the information. Okay? The users, indeed, they have selected. However, this information is not reflected in your email. Okay? It's not being included in your email. So this is the part that we need to ensure that be very careful on this or else it'll be a waste yep all the information is not being captured right here so how do we do this how do we solve this problem very easy scroll down a little bit we are just going to go into the message body yep so here i will just uh, make a spacings again one more and i will just copy this open bracket of the one that is highlighted in black color right so down here i will just give a title let's say it's workshop and then I will just paste my uh, quotes right here. So what it means over right here is that whatever that is showing as the open bracket, it will be replaced with the clients or your customers' uh, information when they submit the form. So in this case, if the user selects Facebook, when you receive the email, instead of workshop, it will show as Facebook. Yeah. So instead of like uh, uh, Facebook, if I choose like e-commerce, all right, 
So over right here, it will be replaced with whatever options that the user selected in the form, right? So this is what it means right here. So right now, I'm going to do it as a proper. Okay, so now observe here. Yeah? Once I ensure that all these open bracket, all the items is being you know included in my message body, right now, I'm just going to click Save Changes. Right after I save, I want you to observe the color one more time. If this workshop, the solid color, change it to light gray, it means that you have done a good job, okay? You 100% everything that you know, the user is going to enter, you are going to receive it right now. And um, you know, it tells you that all the setting is all good and we are good, all right? So let's hit on the save changes. And then scroll down, if you can see, all the short codes right now, it has changed to light gray. So from now, you'll be able to, you know, just to ensure that you can just go and publish this form. But one, one, one last step. This is usually what I would do. Before I really send out this form to my users or my clients, or perhaps um, to run on a Facebook campaign, I will ensure that me, myself, I just come to here, and then I will just fill up all the form, all the fill, yeah, and then I hit on submit by myself. Yeah, so I will just come here, I will enter the name, my name, my emails, I will just select the audio, and, you know, the radio options, I will just select the um, subject, I'll just type in the subject and message, and I will hit on send. Yeah, once i done all this right, I will double check in my email if I receive the inquiry. So if all the information has been captured, then I will go ahead and, you know, start to market on this form. Or else, right, I will ensure that I tweak all my settings until everything is good, then only I will launch it out. Oh, yeah, so this is a very important note to everyone of you, or else uh, you'll be missing out the information that's submitted by your customer. All right, so that's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can actually add, a, add in a radio button to your contact form 7s on your WordPress website. So if you like our video, remember to help us like and share. And if you have successfully inserted and you know like edited your um contact form seven to include a radio button features, please make a comment below and let me know. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.